We thought we'd seen everything 3i Atlas had to offer. But then, something unexpected appeared. An image, captured not by NASA, but by a telescope nestled in the mountains of Brazil. It's the first time we've seen this, a subtle trail of matter emerging from the interstellar object's dark core. A tail, hidden until now, angled 102 degrees from the sun, just off-center enough to escape ordinary detection. While NASA's James Webb mapped its composition weeks ago, this new image reveals something different. Motion, structure, transformation, and maybe the last visible clue we'll get. Because in just a few weeks, 3i Atlas will slip behind the sun, vanishing into solar glare at the height of its activity. This might be the only moment we ever see it clearly. Far from the billion-dollar infrastructure of space agencies under Brazilian skies, a different kind of eye was watching the sky. The Sonier Observatory, short for Southern Observatory for Near-Earth Asteroid Research, wasn't designed for glamour. It wasn't built for headlines. It was built to see what others miss. And on August 23rd, it did exactly that. The image was captured by Cristóvão Jacques, a veteran astronomer with a long track record of asteroid and comet discoveries, a name respected not just in Brazil, but across the global amateur professional astronomical community. Alongside him, Ari Martins, director of the Pleiades du Sul Astronomy Club, provided analysis, validation, and context. Together, they detected something no one else had yet seen, the faint, early stage tail of 3i Atlas, an interstellar object most believed to be dormant, and instead of holding the data, they shared it with Schwarza, a Brazilian science communicator whose YouTube channel has become a bridge between deep space and the everyday viewer. This wasn't an official release. It wasn't funneled through committees or embargoes. It was the raw signature of something ancient, captured by those who still look up simply because they must. While most of the world was waiting for the next NASA post, Brazil had already delivered. Comet tails usually follow the rules. They point away from the sun. They stretch into darkness, a glowing thread unraveling behind a moving core. But 3i Atlas isn't following the rules. In the image from Sonier, the tail doesn't drift lazily behind the object. It's angled tilted 102 degrees off the solar axis, a detail easy to miss, but it changes everything because from Earth, most observers are trained to look along expected paths, to scan the night sky in straight lines, east to west, sunset to sunrise, the classical geometry of the heavens. But we've just passed the solstice. The sun is off center. Its path now arcs lower in the sky and anything responding to sunlight, like a cloud of dust or gas will echo that asymmetry, which means the tail isn't missing. It's just misplaced, visually out of sync with our expectations. To the average sky watcher, the image looks uneventful, a bright dot, some noise, nothing else. But to those who understand orbital mechanics, light angles, solar vectors, that streak is unmistakable. And here's why it matters. When comets approach the sun, their volatile ices begin to sublimate turning solid matter into vapor. That vapor forms a coma, and eventually, a tail. It's a clear, measurable behavior, and it happens on a timeline. Weeks ago, scientists predicted that if 3i Atlas were a comet, its activity would begin around August 10th. The Sonier image, captured on August 23rd, right in the window. And though the tail is faint, its orientation is perfectly consistent with the sun's location at the time, a quiet, but powerful confirmation. But it's more than just geometry. It's also about perspective. Imagine standing at the end of a long hallway. A person walks toward you, holding a flag behind their back. You see them, you see the movement, but not the flag. It's hidden by their body, perfectly aligned from your point of view. Only when they shift slightly does the fabric unfurl. That's what Sonier caught, that slight shift, that perfect moment where angle, light, and movement aligned just enough to make the invisible visible. The tail was always there, but now, for the first time, it was seen. And with that, the debate intensified. Because tails mean activity, activity means heat. Heat means proximity to the sun, and that points to something alive, 
In a celestial sense, it points to a comet, a frozen wanderer now waking up. But here's the paradox. Even this doesn't end the mystery. Because a tail alone doesn't define identity, it reveals behavior. Yes, but not origin. And this object's behavior may mimic a comet while hiding something entirely different beneath its surface. So we ask you, what do you believe 3i Atlas really is? A comet? A planetary shard? A relic from outside our frame of reference? Leave your thoughts in the comments. We're watching them like we're watching the sky. Because in the end, this isn't just about data. It's about interpretation and the truth we choose to see in the dark. When the Brazilian image was released, the comparisons came instantly. What about James Webb? Isn't that more powerful? It is, but it's not looking for the same thing. On August 6th, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope aimed its infrared eyes at 3i Atlas. What it saw wasn't a picture. It was raw data, spectroscopy, a chemical map, light decoded into elements. And what those elements revealed was strange. The object's spectrum showed signs of water ice and silicates, but also a striking amount of carbon dioxide, far more than expected. Enough to draw comparisons to Mars's atmosphere, enough to make some wonder. Was this once part of a planet? A red shard, ejected, alone. But Webb told us nothing about form, nothing about movement. It captured no tail, because it wasn't designed to. That's where Sonar comes in. From the mountains of Brazil, with a far wider field of view, Christophe Jacques recorded something else entirely. Structure, direction A, faint, tilted tail, just beginning to emerge. Not a contradiction, a compliment, because now we see both sides. The composition, alien, unsettling, incomplete, and the behavior, active, shifting, undeniable. Each data set raises more questions than it answers, but together, they leave us with one unavoidable truth. 3i Atlas is not just drifting, it's evolving. And evolution means change. Change means energy. And energy implies intent. Maybe not conscious, maybe not artificial, but still intent revealed through physics, through chemistry, through form. And that may be the closest we ever get to an answer. In a matter of weeks, 3i Atlas will vanish behind the sun, lost in glare, hidden by the very star that revealed it. We might never see it again. Not like this, not this close, not this clear. We tracked its trajectory. We measured its chemistry. We caught a glimpse of its tail. But the question remains, what exactly passed through our solar system? A dying comet? A planetary fragment? An echo from a place we don't have a name for? We may never know. Because the universe doesn't owe us closure, it offers moments, windows, shadows caught in motion, and if we're lucky, a single image from a quiet observatory in Brazil to remind us that discovery doesn't always come from billion-dollar telescopes. Sometimes it comes from those who still look up. If this journey spoke to you, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to support this project even further, consider becoming a member. Soon, we'll be sharing exclusive content for members only, but for now, those who join are helping keep this cosmic window open because we're not done watching the dark and the dark isn't done watching us.